morning meeting and got that done. So I had to give somebody some prices on a house. It's, uh, well, they call it quantity survey. We call it materials. And next I've got to stop uh, and pick up some paperwork to do some accounting for somebody else. Porch Kitty's looking rather pregnant these days. I don't know how many she's got in there. She's such a peanut. Probably two. said we might be getting some weather today. Looks like they could be right. It's 2.30 in the afternoon and this storm has made it seem like uh, 7 15, 7 30 at night. It's gotten that dark. Okay, now we're talking some serious rain. You can't even see across the harbor. You can barely see from our house to the where the water's edge is, and that's only about 200 feet away. We needed this rain. We have our own little river. It's really raining out there. Oh yeah, look, there's like a little pond over there. I wonder if some ducks will fly in. Pelicans. Yeah, I think it's a little small for pelicans. Can you see all the dirt and everything that's washing into the sea from here? I think that's going to cause some problems in the future. Because if that much water is running over the road and in, it's going to start washing out that bank. Today made up for it. Be nicer if it didn't come in you know, 10 inches or whatever all in one shot. You know, a little and then a little and then a little. Some this week, some next week, some the week after. Instead of ages and then tons. Well, sounds like Sid's just coming home. She went to see what the uh, range gauge, rain gauge at the government building, how much uh, rain we had gotten out of all of that find out that in a minute. Uh, but today's been a relatively good day. A couple meetings, got things done, I uh, got some more paperwork still to do, and I have to do a uh, budget proposal uh, for another company. Uh, but we'll get all that done and then hopefully put this all together and turn this into today's movie. Okay, so yeah, the, the roof leaks a little bit on the Jeep. And you saw how much rain we had before. Um, well, this is the floor of the Jeep. Can you see the standing water? 
Obviously, I should drill a hole in here so it can drain out, I guess. Oh, that's to open the hood. Okay, so what was the result? It said three inches. Three inches? Three inches. I can't believe that can't no. possibly be right. No. Because I'll show you evidence. Evidence? Okay. Evidence. What am I looking at? Gullies. Gullies? Where? Washed out gullies. See yeah. this? This is like a gully. Well, where is it? It's over there by the beach from the road. Oh, from the road? From the road, oh, washing all the so sand much away. Water. Oh, okay. And then, and then, three inches does not do that. Whoa. I think that boat needs some help, huh? Mm hmm. And here is the ring gauge. Yeah, I think that's a defective rain gauge. There's no way we only got three inches no, of rain. No, because it filled our bucket outside completely. <laughs> right. But I learned a valuable lesson. Don't go walking through the puddles? Right. Okay, so this is one of those classics. <clears throat> Sid wanted me to go walk with her to the government building to see the rain gauge. And I didn't want to go walking because there's water everywhere. It's not fun walking through puddles and everything else. And she says, no, it actually wasn't fun. I guess she hit some fire ants floating in the who were floating along were floating the and were happy to Mary, get sucked onto I her feet and raft. bite it. Yes, I was a life raft. <laughs> so I guess the moral of the story is don't go walking when there's excessive amounts of water and the fire ants have been floated out of their homes because the first thing they're going to attach on is your leg as you go through the puddle. And they're very happy to bite. I don't know why they just bite. Why can't they just... happy for the leg rats. Right, exactly. But anyway, don't go walking when there's large puddles because you might get fire ants or a lot of them. Oh, here, you want to see the solution to the fire ant problem? This is soaking in vinegar. water and vinegar. You ever heard of that one before? It won't work. And then, of course, there's somebody. We don't worry about paperwork. We don't worry about fire ants. We actually don't worry about much. Except that little kitty trying to get in the house. <laughs>